Hello on YouTube, this is Barrett with Espresso Outlet. Today I wanted to show you how to connect this Kaleida M2 dual system using a MacBook Pro. Uh, I use the MacBook Pro and I feel like there's a little bit better documentation on the PC out there. So I wanted to share this and I'm going to follow up with the PC version of this soon. So make sure to check back or it may already be published. To begin with, you'll need to plug your Kaleido tablet into the USB. I wanted to note, do not plug this USB on the dual system directly into your laptop. It may damage the control board of the roaster. So make sure it's plugged into the Kaleido tablet before you begin and have your laptop ready to go with Artisan software. So go ahead and download Artisan, but it's not going to connect until you follow the next steps. To begin with, go to the website up here. I will post the link below and scroll down to where it says dual systems, download the artisan settings file. In this case, I'm going to click the M2 and it's going to place that on my desktop. The next step would be to go to your system preferences and find the tab, the, the Kaleido Roaster. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this and it's going to pop up as a new device. So we're going to click connect. And on our Kaleido tablet, we're going to go to the setup tab. And it says Bluetooth access requests this pin. We're gonna click allow. And as soon as we click allow, on our screen it's gonna say connected and then it'll immediately say not connected. We're gonna minimize both of these screens and we're going to load our artisan software. So right out the gate, it's not going to have very many functions because it's not set up for this roaster. It's not, even if you click the on, it will not show any of your bean tips. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the help menu and click load settings. I'm going to find it on my desktop and I know it's this M10 file. Even though it's an M2 roaster, this is the file that it downloaded. So we're going to click open and then we're going to go to configure and this is very important. If you don't set your port correctly, it may not see it. So the COM port, we want to find the M2 COM port and it should come in. There is a additional step if it's not coming in to look at it through your Mac console. Mine has come in every time. So we want to click this M2. And then we want to change the baud rate to 9600 and click OK. From there, we're going to click the on button in Artisan. It'll take a few moments to register, but what it's doing is it's going out and looking for the Bluetooth and what was not connected before it's actually reaching out and it's connecting to our Kaleido M2 roaster now. So your Bluetooth status is going to show connected and you will see basically your, your ambient temperature and uh, degrees Celsius here. You can change this to degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I have not changed that on mine on this. So that's the basic steps of getting going using a MacBook Pro. If you have the Kaleido Pro version, It'll be slightly different. You'll download different files and you will not connect using this artist or this Kaleido tablet. You will connect directly via Bluetooth to the roaster. You'll set up everything very similar. We'll follow up with some additional videos.